Good morning, I'm Tom, W8JI. This is an AL80B. I designed this amplifier and many other amplifiers over the years. This amp has a, a tuning aid called the TOF, the TOF. I designed the TOF to give a warning and also to allow you to watch the peak grid current as you tune the amplifier. The um, so it'll disconnect the amplifier if you run too much grid current and it also it also gives you a warning light that tells you when you're approaching too much uh, grid current. While this amplifier has a thoriated tungsten filament tube in it like the 811 and a lot of other directly heated tubes do and these tubes aren't damaged very easy by the grid current. Um, the, the people worry about hurting the tube with grid current but that's that's pretty much not going to happen. What the grid current does in a thoriated tungsten tube is it causes the amplifier to flat top or saturate and splatter and it also makes the tank voltage far too high so you can cause an arc in the tank circuit. So th those are the real worries with too much grid current in a thoriated tungsten tube. Tubes like the 3CX800 or the 8877 the metal oxide cathode tubes, they'll have, the ones that take a long time to warm the filament up, are very sensitive to grid current. So they can be damaged pretty fast by grid current. So they should all have grid overloads in them, no matter what. They should have something in the amplifier that disconnects the amplifier and makes it inoperable if the grid current gets too high, even on peaks, even just on peaks, not even on average current. So let's tune this amplifier with the TOF module. It'll be a little bit different than tuning an amplifier without this module in it. With a tuning pulser, the amplifier won't overheat. Um, the, average, the average power will be very low, but you can still tune for peak power. So let's tune this amplifier. I'm going to put it on 40 meters and just mess up all the adjustments and not even get to a good starting point and I'm going to drive this thing with full power. So I'm over I'm actually over 100 watts of drive power right now on the uh, on the amplifier. And I'm not going to worry about it cuz I'm using a tuning pulser and I'm also using a TOF module. So I turn the amplifier on operate and I see I've got a little over 100 milliamps of of uh, peak grid current and 75 milliamps of average anode current. And I start to peak the plate first. And see the output power here is going up as I peak the plate. It's up to 200 watts now, 300 watts, and the grid current's starting to climb. It should go up rapidly when the output power stops going up rapidly. You see this red light right here? tells me I'm getting to the grid current limits on peak grid current and there it shut off. It shut off uh, because of the automatic overload feature. Let's reset it once. See it goes right back off again because I have too much grid current. So to reduce the grid current you open the loading control. I'm going up a little bit on the loading control. I'll reset this. It's, it's red again. The proper procedure here is to open the grid control until the red just starts to go away. Then I re-peak the plate. The red is back. And I open it back up again until the red goes away. And I re-peak the plate. I'm way over a thousand watts peak output power on this. I'm not hurting the amplifier at all because it's 75 milliamps of average, average anode current, average plate current is 75 milliamps and the peak grid current is 200 milliamps so that that's perfectly fine on the on the 3500Z now the amplifier is all tuned all I would have to do is is uh, go over to single sideband or whatever mode and set the power to whatever I want with the exciter and run the amplifier uh, let's let's look at how easy this is to change bands with it with this uh, module in here. I'm going to put it on 20 meters. I'm going to change the exciter to 20 meters, 
and now without retuning it from 40 I'm just going to turn it right on and then again I peek the plate and there we go this just happened to wind up okay I'm trying to go right at 200 milliamps of, of peak grid current um, with this drive power now if I hosed up the loading and had too much loading you see the red light starts to come on and there I made it trip out so if I try to reset it it just goes right back off so the the when it does that you just open the load control up a little bit and then you turn it on and it's back it's back in operation see as I peak the plate the grid current peaks and the output power peaks and then I go up and open the loading control a little bit more till it falls off the red light goes away it's at 200 milliamps of peak grid current it's it's really pretty fast without talking I'm gonna go back to 40 meters put the amp on standby flip the exciter back to 40 meters I'm gonna show you how quick this is I'm gonna hose up all the controls here so they're just random position I'm put the amp on 40 I turned the amp on there we go that tells me it kick, kicked out tells me I need more load control I put more load control in there we go all tuned tuned perfect on 40 meters that fast and that safely thanks for watching this video I hope to do more videos